at yuzukeycaps.com you can design your own keycap set and there's virtually no limit to the designs you can make. Now I've long been looking for a Halloween themed keycap set but never found any that matched what I had in mind. Yuzu then reached out to have me design my very own custom keycaps and I already know how sick I'm going to design them. I know this will be a keycap set nobody has ever seen before and here we have it with us. Now how will they actually look on a keyboard? Together, let's explore Yuzu's keycaps together with a Keyboom Loop 75. Let's go! Now these are dice up PBTs with a design directed by your imagination. And the level of detail they have on the prints is astonishing. The PBT used here feels buttery smooth with very little shine, giving it kind of a rubbery smooth texture out of the box. Now I personally was not expecting this level of detail from the keycaps with very small intricate prints. I personally spent over a week designing this and taking advice from friends left and right just to get the pieces right. The fonts are customizable, icons, sizes, colors, and you can even import your own custom icons. There are more than a hundred fonts to choose from, more than a hundred icons to choose from, and same goes with color options. If my math is correct, there should be more than a thousand if not millions of combinations you can play around with. Now I suggest you involve your friends or family when designing your own keycap set as this can get really intense. Now many reviews online show the basics and very few show the advanced setup and that my friends we will go over in this video. Now upon opening yuzukeycaps.com you'd be greeted with a start button right here. Then, you choose the layout of the keyboard that you want your custom keycaps on. Say I want to design a keycap set for a 75% keyboard, just click on 75% there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Yuzu's Playground. Before designing your layout, you want to make sure you click on settings here and tick the checkboxes that apply to your custom 75% layout. You could have an ISO enter, split left shift, or so on. You could even add in extra R1 switches for a few more bucks. Now say we're done setting up our custom layout, exit out of settings. The first thing you want to explore is the language options over here. You may also choose sub legends for your keycaps. So say we have the default QWERTY and let's add in katakana. And this is what it would look like. At the lower left corner, of this playground, you will see that there are templates right here. You may edit these templates to change a group or a set of keycaps. So we have here the letters, we have here mods, other mods, and the arrow keys right here, which only have an icon in them without text. If you don't want to edit a whole set of keycaps, you're free to just click on a keycap here and then change the values or letters in each layer. To choose a specific set of keycaps, you may hold down your control key and click on the specific set of keycaps you want to edit. Now, in this way, you can only edit the colors of the keycap and the legends only. If you want to change fonts, you're going to have to click on a specific key to change the font right here. Now, changing the fonts of keycap sets is really easy. Just click on the template and click on this color icon to choose a different color for your keycaps. Let's say we want that to be color red. You can also change the colors of your text or legends by clicking this color icon right there and choosing the appropriate color of your choice. Click on save changes after. After choosing your keycap colors, let's choose the font that will apply on our keycaps. So there are a ton of options here. I am going to display and find Dune Rise. I'm gonna click on back, save changes. And now that looks better. By the way, you may set each key to either have an icon or a letter, and that's pretty easy. Say I want arrow keys on my WASD. I'm gonna click on the keycap, click on the template, and choose your template with an icon. Here you can change the color of the icon, or you can also change the icon itself. Say I want this to be up, save that, and I'll also do the same for ASD. You're free to customize the size of your icons or even the text. You may also reposition them on the keycaps itself. And let me show you how. Say we want to reposition text on this template. Go to click that. And all you need to press is your arrow keys on your keyboard. Press down, middle. Once you're satisfied with the position of your text or icon, click on save changes. And now it's middle lined. You're also free to change the font size just right here. Now you have bigger fonts. If you want custom sublegends on your keycaps, just click on a keycap or a template that you want to have sublegends for. Click on the second layer and then choose the font that you want. Now I'm going to add in some cryptic text here and say I want this one. Maybe let's color it red. Increase the size. And then we want to position that somewhere here. Save changes. Now of course you want to fill in 
the text that you want to show in the second layer. Let's add that in. So now we have the cryptic font together with our Dunarize font. And I have to say, it doesn't look good, but I just wanted to show you how it's done. Now, another advanced feature here at Users Playground is you could upload your very own custom icons. And let me do that with the W key. Click on the icon and click on import. The only file that this will accept is an SVG file. Import them here and they should show up in your key. Let's try that together. So I just imported this icon that I downloaded online. Save changes and now you have that icon on your keycap. Once you're done, just click on save. Now that that's saved, you can proceed to add that to cart or you could copy the link to your design and send it over to friends or family so that they can give you their inputs. Say we're done with this design and we want this to be printed. Click on add to cart. Here you'll be asked one last time if you confirm that the above is what you're looking to have printed. If you want to make some more changes, just click on the edit button at the lower right of the design. And you're back in the playground. After some time, user will email you on a photo of the actual product and reconfirm that it represents exactly what you had in mind. Overall, I really enjoyed designing my very own keycap set with Yuzu. If you have any custom keycap sets in mind, I highly recommend you give Yuzu a shot to make them for you. What I had in mind is now literally right in front of me. And I will put links in the description below for you to explore. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you again next time.